It is that time of year when we look forward to holiday choir concerts, and tonight we want to introduce you to a group that we think is very special. Members have Parkinson's disease or Parkinson's Plus syndrome, and they say singing helps to improve their condition. CBS 2's Christine Sloan has their story. Meet the Parkin Singers at JFK Johnson Rehabilitation Institute. They've been practicing weekly for this holiday choir concert. For them, singing doesn't come easy. Every breath and note takes work because Parkinson's, a degenerative disorder of the central nervous system, not only can cause tremors, but also changes in a person's voice. So we're exercising the the voice mechanism, the speech me mechanism, and the swallow mechanism, and studies have shown that voice and speech can improve. It's why speech pathologist Allison Shinani, who's also the choir director, convinced patients like Dan Greenberg to join the group. My voice, as you may t you may hear, is a little raspy, sometimes a little choppy, and, and it's low in volume. Well, I don't know how to sing. <laughs> I, I never, I never, I never could sing. In fact, growing up, I was frequently told. Just move your lips. Greenberg and fellow singers like Donna Mastropolo say singing has helped improve their speech. It helps strengthen all the muscles in here. And it also is good for cognition because you're trying to learn a new song, the music, the words, and you've got to put it all together. And that's not easy for someone with Parkinson's. It's 90 minutes a week that I don't have to think I have Parkinson's. I don't have to think about it at all. And the camaraderie, the people who are in the group, um, it's it just phenomenal, it really is. For a person who's having a difficult time communicating, being able to have camaraderie and meet weekly with people who understand what they're going through day in and day out, um, it, it's the quality of life boost is huge. The Parkinson Singers' next performance will be in the spring for Parkinson's Awareness Month. The public's invited to come. In Edison, New Jersey, Christine Sloan, CBS 2 News. Pretty great. Maybe they'll take it on the road. Maybe they will. How about that, Maybe right? Maybe they will. Thanks so much for watching the news at five on CBS Two and streaming on CBS News New York. I'm Maurice Dubois. And I'm Christine Johnson.